In this video, I'm going to talk about something called ascites. Ascites is a condition where someone's belly is protruded. It's usually not fat. It's mostly fluid. The Latin word for ascites is bag-like because it looks like this bag that's hanging from your abdomen. Now, the appearance is uh, usually protruded like a basketball. It's usually not sagging too much. It's kind of sticking out. And um, if you tap on one side, you'll see kind of a ripple on the other side. And this is because it's filled with fluid, because the liver is leaking certain fluid into a sac around the abdominal organs. The most common cause of ascites is cirrhosis. This is a condition where the liver has so much scar tissue, it's overwhelming the liver function. And now the liver can't do its thing, and so it's leaking fluid into the gut. Now there's other causes to cirrhosis as well. Uh, you can have cancer pancreatitis, uh, heart disease, or even TB. But most people with this condition um, have cirrhosis. Now, in past videos, I talk about um, the guy on the beach with the Speedo with this protruded belly. He's actually skinny everywhere, but his belly is protruding. That kind of gives you a visual of what I'm talking about. Now, there's other associated symptoms that come with this. Uh, we have portal hypertension, which you have high blood pressure in the venous part of your body, uh, edema in the lower legs. So let's say you press into your lower leg and it leaves an indentation, okay? It's called a pitting edema. So you may have spider veins around your abdomen or you might have a lot of bruising in the lower legs. You might have gynecomastia, which is breast tissue in men. That's not normal. You may even vomit blood as one of the side effects. Now, another common symptom involves your brain where you have too much ammonia building up, and that can create uh, a lot of confusion and cognitive dysfunction. And several remedies for that would be, number one, taking lactulose. Uh, sauerkraut can help reduce ammonia from the body. And uh, consuming more vegetables would be a good thing. Making sure you don't consume excessive amounts of protein, have a lesser amount. And taking L-glutamine can help. Now, what's interesting, when I was in practice, um, I had medical doctors come in as patients, and I always asked them, what is the typical treatment for ascites medically? And they would say uh, a drainage, so they would drain the fluid. Uh, they would put the patient on a low-salt diet. They would give them a diuretic, and many times they would have to be on the liver transplant list because other than these typical treatments, there was no other treatment. And I would always say, like, why wouldn't you support the liver with maybe something natural? But they're just not trained in these uh, natural remedies. So if I had ascites, this is what I would do. I would immediately start intermittent fasting because fasting can help reduce liver enzymes. It can help improve liver function. It can help decrease the growth of fibrous tissue and scar tissue, lessening the intensity of cirrhosis. I would also get on something called milk thistle, which can be very hepatoprotective which means it protects the cells of the liver. It can also reduce inflammation as well. I would also get on vitamin E, which is the most powerful uh, antioxidant when it comes down to reducing oxidation, free radical damage of various tissues, as well as being antifibrotic. So it slows down inflammation and slows down the process of the liver developing fibrous tissue and scar tissue. The type of vitamin E that you take is very important. I would only recommend taking tocotrienols, not the tocopherols. It's going to be 50 times more potent. The next thing I would take would be selenium. Selenium is one of the best antioxidants for the liver. And I would definitely also go low carb because high carb creates more oxidation, more scar tissue. All right, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.